this job, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to need some needle nose pliers. And you're going to need a multimeter. So when you call for tech service by the number down below in the description, you're going to need a multimeter to test all your components in there. Now you might not have the same problem that I had, but they'll walk you through it and show you how to do it, or not show you, but tell you what part is bad. And then it's up to you whether either you want to fix it or if you want to call a professional to fix it. If you're not used to working with 240 volts, I would suggest that you call somebody that is an electrician or, or someone that installs these instant hot water heaters. But anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the project. Hey, today we're going to do a little repair job on the Power Star instant hot water heater. So I have the AE15, which right here AE15 which it's pretty much the same for this one the AE125 so the problem is the water's not getting hot enough and as time went on it just didn't get warm at all it just it just quit getting warm so uh, first thing you want to do is go turn the breaker off outside or wherever your breaker panel is, it should be two double pull 40 amp breakers. Turn those off. Now this is an electric one. They do make gas ones, but we're working on an electric one today. The first thing, there's four screws in it, one on each corner and one at the top. You take those screws out and then you remove this. It's pretty easy to remove. It does have a schematic in it but we're not going to use that today because I have had uh, other breakdowns well I had one other breakdown I mean I've had these things had this one for probably five or six years I had another one for five or six years but it got some wires shorted out and to nobody's fault and it wasn't the hot water heater's fault but I, it wasn't really worth fixing but this one has just got some electronic problems. I did have one other problem one time before. And this little board right here, which I'll move the camera in a minute and show you some pictures of that. It, it went bad. <coughs> and they sent me a, a new one. And, and I put that in. And it fixed it that time. But after never really getting really, really, really hot water. Uh, I've come to the conclusion I don't think that board was bad. I think it was, uh, it, it just wasn't the, the main problem, but it did work better, but it didn't actually make the water real hot. So eventually, as time goes on, these breaker, the, these fuses up here, they have reset switches on them. Let me see if I can get you a picture of that. So you can see them little white buttons on top. If you take your uh, cabinet off and be very careful and do it with a screwdriver or something. Don't don't touch any of these leads with your hand because they're they have power going to them. But when you click this, let me see if it clicks. Ah, see there. So that one was tripped. This one right here was tripped. This one, it's not tripped. This one's okay. So. By testing the, this board, which we tested, I tested with the Bosch company, and then they showed me how to test these two boards that's back here. Uh, we determined that I thought it would be the, the thermostat with the reset switch, but it wasn't. It wasn't this. But, so we've had to find out what was causing that to trip. What's causing that to trip is this board right here is bad. So I went ahead and ordered a board from the Bosch company. And it don't come with a whole lot. It comes, comes in a little brown box. And it comes in a baggie like this. And let me see, I'm gonna open it up here. Oops. It comes with a little lube, lubrication to put the leads on with. 
has a couple of screws in there that I'm about to lose, so I don't want to do that. And then it comes with, this is the board. <laughs> this is the board that's bad. It has a couple of screws here that we're going to, I'll put the camera up there when I start working on it. And, uh, and it has four wires that plug in here. One, two, three, four. And we're going to take those off. And it has a little computer a wire that goes from here to the other control board. So, and so that's all you have to mess with. But I'll show you up there when I get ready to change it. And then we're going to turn the breaker back on and test it. So let me get rearranged here and get the camera up there where you can see what I'm doing and a little light on this subject. And we'll keep on with this little project. Hey, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I can't even see down in there. But there's a couple of screws down in there that have to come off before this can come out. Oh, I see them. Two Phillips head screws in there. And those have to come out. So hopefully I can get them out without dropping them. So now let me get the light back on the subject here. They're probably going to drop down in there. That's okay. Okay. Oh, this one off. A little control wire plugged in there. Now that will not work if you don't plug that back in. So you got to get it plugged back in. But now, how does this come out? Let's see. It's got these tabs on the side. And you don't want to break them. Okay, so I got it loose. I think that screw there has still got it a little bit. So now, there you go. Now you can see what I'm up against here. Got to take these wires off and put them back on the board exactly like they are there. A brown and a brown and a green and a blue. So I can't hold this light and do it at the same time. So I'm just going to do that and then come back when I get that done. So now this is probably the hardest part of the job, is getting these screws back in. <laughs> uh, got that one in. And now, I know you can't see, but I can't see either. So I think I got it in the right place that time. Let's see if it screws down in there. Okay, let's check this again. Okay, everything's in. Wires are connected nicely. Everything looks good. No corrosion. Now, I'm going to leave you on and I'm going to go turn the breaker on and see if this one trips. Should be okay. So now at this point, we got everything on. Don't want to touch none of this stuff now because the breaker's on. So now the one thing we want to see when we turn this on is this little gear in here turn because that's the flow meter and if that's flowing then we should have hot water so i'm gonna go turn the hot water on and we're gonna see how it works so now you see the red lights on over here I think you can. And the flow meter's turning. 
and I can feel I can feel the water's hot uh, down here. I'll just grab a hold of these and test them. That's hot. And you can adjust the temperature uh, right here as the knob you turn. Yeah, this is the temperature. This is how you change the temperature, hot, hotter and colder. But that thing is hot. Now the thing was when when it gets when you run the water and it gets hot, that's fine. But when you turn it off, the heating element in here keeps getting hot, which would trip that if that board's not working. So now I'm gonna go turn the water off and see if it stays engaged and see if this cools off. And that should have it fixed. Let me go turn the water off and see if that trips that fuse. Okay, the water's off. You can tell the water's off because the, uh, the red light on the control board there is off. So that little light is, is off. And now, let's just wait a few seconds. And if that don't trip, then we're in good shape. Well, this is cooling off a little bit should have done it it's not getting hotter i'm testing this pipe right here i'm just testing this to see if it gets hotter because <clears throat> before this would get real hot you couldn't touch it and the, the fuse would trip but right now we're in good shape so now i hope that that helps you out a little bit and it shows you how to test this i'm gonna put all the information down below and contact information for Bosch because it's uh, you know it's a Power Star heater, but it's made by Bosch, which is a very good company, and uh, they have a good tech service. So if you have one of these and you need to troubleshoot it, I would recommend you call them and get it troubleshooted. And now you can see what you got to do to repair it. So you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll have another video for you soon. You guys have an awesome day. <laughs> See you later. Right, now I'm going to go turn the power off and put the cover back on.